My name is NS34 and I'll be talking about algorithms today. Many of, most of the things we do today and most of our daily living revolve around algorithms, whether we like them or not. So we use computers, we use computing systems, we use digital systems, and all these are chunk of metals without algorithms. They are dead. Now, what are algorithms? Algorithms are basically a set of instructions that make things work in a, in a computing world. So for example, I might say a set of instructions. If the time is 6 a.m. or 6, then sound the alarm. And that's something, you know, I do sometimes, well, most times, because that's what my phone is set on, on 6 a.m. That's an algorithm waking me up. Or another algorithm might be, if the speed is six for a car, and the limit is actually less than, sorry, if the speed is 30 for a car, and the limit is less than that, then, of course, issue a ticket. So a ticket goes to the person driving, or something like that. From the first tweet of dawn to the last post of dusk, algorithms rule our lives. We depend on these digital devices. Now let me take you to a walk in the hospital. In the surgical theater, algorithms are the invisible hands doing the surgery. Well, not, not all the time, but they, they help with the surgery. Now algorithms are the silent angels monitoring patients day and night. And algorithms are the brains searching for kidney matches to match kidneys. If you go on a national scale, algorithms actually run most of our national, most aspects of the national grid. Security services, even in parliament, you have algorithms doing a lot of work there. So you can see in almost every aspect of our lives, they are permeating, they are eating, they are creeping into every aspect of our lives. You sit in the bus, camera captures you, puts you on a screen somewhere, you've been captured. It's an algorithm doing it. How do we get these hackers? We use algorithms. How do we businesses forecast, manage? How do businesses understand their customers? How do businesses perform analytics? And all these things, it's just algorithms. Helps them grow, helps them become productive and help them become more effective. Algorithms are almost everywhere and they are for good causes, but they have dark sides too. So for example, Early part of this year, in March, I think the 10th of March it was, um, an aircraft flying from Addis Ababa to, um, um, to Nairobi, actually, 10 minutes after, well, less than 10 minutes after takeoff, crashed, killing over 157 people, well, around 157 people. Investigators think, well, it was a software failure. Now, what does that really mean? That means some algorithms did things maybe they shouldn't have done, but they were programmed to do. So they did that. So they're blaming algorithms. They have dark sides. Yahoo got into big trouble a few years ago. Why? Because it was hacked into and over 500 people's credentials were stolen. Now that will cause reputational damage to it. It will cause financial loss possibly. And the damage is just unquantifiable. And that's all because algorithms were used wrongly. So algorithms have, they have really good sides. They help us, they build us, they, strength, you know, they do a lot for us. But again, they can have dark sides. So are they friends or foe? Well, that is not something algorithms can even answer themselves because they are by nature neutral. It depends on who designed it and for what purpose they've been designed. Now, if you have a business, you wouldn't want algorithms to be working against you. You would want them to be working for you. So what we do at Manchester Met is to understand how we can create them, we can manage them, and we can test them so that we can improve lives, so that we can change communities, so that we can increase in productivity, we can be more effective, we can understand the nature of things going around us, we can predict and know what can possibly happen in the future, put down mitigating plans and things like that. That's what we do, that's what we look to um, further as well. So if you're in industry and you are looking to expand and use software in improving things, get in touch. It might be something we can both work on. Or if you're a student, prospective student, thinking, well, I would like to know how the world around works, especially how algorithms support businesses. 
go on our websites as well and see how and see if you can find a course that would match what you're looking for. Thank you.